What is up YouTube, this is Will the World Black Ops Pro, and today I'm coming at you guys with some Black Ops 1 gameplay because it just came out on the Xbox One. But that's not the topic of today's commentary, the real topic is how to get COD 4 remastered without buying Infinite Warfare. Now if you've watched the Activision trailer on Infinite Warfare, it says, oh, you have to buy the bundle to get access to COD 4 remastered. So that's an $80 bundle, so they're basically forcing you to buy Infinite Warfare just to play COD 4 remastered, and a lot of people don't want to do that. Like a lot of people I know are just saying, oh, I'm just going to buy the game just to play COD 4 Remastered because they don't want all this space warfare um, flying around crap and I don't blame them. But you don't have to buy the bundle. What Activision is not telling you is that COD 4 and Infinite Warfare are going to be separated. And I'm not talking about separated like, oh, five years from now they're going to be separated after they've been out for a long time. No, no, no. They're going to be separated either at launch or very shortly thereafter and I'll tell you exactly why. Now the first reason why it's probably going to be separated at launch, you know, the day it comes out, is because of licensing agreements. Like, guys come on, COD 4 and Infinite Warfare are two different brands. And, you know, the reason why they haven't been using the Modern Warfare brand anymore is probably because of lawsuit issues with uh, the original creators, Vincent Pella and uh, Jason West. In fact, if you guys remember, back in 2010 there was a huge lawsuit between those uh, original developers at Infinity Ward and Activision. And based on what I've heard, I don't think they're going to be able to keep the bundle because what, what they're doing right now is they're trying to use this to bolster pre-order sales. Now let's get into the pre-order sales because they've done this in the past before. Like remember for Black Ops 3 how they say, oh if you want Nuketown with a 3 in it, if you want Nuketown 3, then you know what you got to do? You got to pre-order the game and then we'll give you Nuketown. Only people who pre-order will get exclusive access. Well, that was the case or at least we thought but then when the game actually came out they were just giving away copies of Black Ops 3 with Nuketown in it you see you don't actually need to pre-order the game to get Nuketown that was just to make their sales look good their pre-order numbers look good so the investors are happy that's the only reason they did that and you can bet that if Activision didn't create this bundle and try to get you to buy Infinite Warfare in addition to COD 4 Infinite Warfare would sell terribly it would sell very poorly because they know that everybody wants the boots on the ground experience. Everybody's been asking for COD 4 to be remastered for the longest time. And now they're finally giving it to us, but they're kind of dangling in our faces like, oh, if you want COD 4, okay, you can have it, but uh, you gotta do this. You gotta buy Infinite Warfare. But no one wants to do that. So they're making it look like that you have to buy Infinite Warfare. And let's say for some reason that at launch, okay, I'm wrong. It doesn't come out separately on launch. It's going to come out separately within a few weeks or maybe a month or so. Maybe by December, it's going to come out separately. And the reason why I say December is because the past few Call of Duties, the price drops substantially by December because, you know, Ghost has sold terribly. Uh, Advanced Warfare the same. Uh, BL3, um, it sold better, but, I mean, it still sold less than what they expected. As proof of that, like, they, they planned to release Black Ops 1 uh, that... Black Ops 1 and Xbox One in back in December, but they didn't, it didn't come out until uh, in, until this May, so BO3 didn't sell as well. And what happens is, like, the games don't sell as well, and then I go into the GameStop in December, and it's like, oh, Call of Duty Ghost, Advanced Warfare? Oh, it's on sale for $39.99, uh, new copies. There's a Christmas sale or something, and, like, they're just trying to move copies that no one wants because everybody knows the game is so bad. So I'm assuming that once the sale, initial sale kind of died down, they're going to separate it. It's like, oh, we can make more money by selling COD 4 separately because no one's falling into this trap. But even if they don't, let's say they, they don't even do that. Like, they don't even separate it then. I still don't recommend anybody go out and spend $80 on a game, on essentially a 9-year-old game. Because as I like COD 4 as much as the next guy, but $80 for a game that you already own is kind of a ripoff. You're paying 60 for a game that you don't want. Because no one wants to play Call of Duty, Halo, like, no one wants to play that. And plus, we're only getting half a game here, like, ten maps. Okay, like, ten maps, and all they did was touch up the graphics, really. So they're giving us half a game that we already own, and they're touching up the graphics. Like, but some of you guys might want the Boots on the Ground experience, and you don't want to wait a few weeks, maybe, in, if it, in case it doesn't come out separately on launch. But here's the thing, it's a nine-year-old game, and, you know, we've been waiting, it's basically been nine years since the game came out, so I think... You can wait a week or so more to play it if you really have to because if you buy the $80 bundle, you're doing exactly what Activision wants you to. You're spending, you're giving them more of your hard-earned money to uh, fund this scam, really. It's really a scam. That's really what it is. And plus those other games out there, like 
Battlefield 1 is going to come out, and if you guys want boots on the ground gameplay, you might as well play that game like while waiting for COD 4, because no one wants to waste money on Infinite Warfare. And we, what we got to do is we got to tell Activision that we don't want Infinite Warfare. The best way to do it is to not spend money on this game until it comes out separately. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the commentary. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This has been World at War, and see you guys later.